What is going on guys, Radiz here, and in this video, this goes out to all the teenagers out there. So if you're a teenager, or even if you're, you know, 19, 20, in your early 20s, this video still will be helpful for you. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys my personal finance tips and my personal tips for, I guess, life in general, and what I think you guys should be doing at your young age. Um, so I guess a bit behind me, if you don't already know who I am, my name is Radiz. Um, at the age of 18, I got my real estate license. Um, I'm currently 20 years old. I've done a lot of things, you know, I wrote a book. Um, I've hit multiple um, five figures in sales uh, just from like my Instagram pages. I've run multiple successful businesses. I have a mentorship program um, and I also do have like a course. So kind of like a mentorship slash coaching program right there. If you guys can see that says joint seeking success. There's a link down below if you are interested in my course. But without further ado, what do I think you should be doing at a young age? So here's tip number one. Um, Tip number one is don't spend money on things that you don't think you'll need in a few years. So one thing that I did, especially in high school, was I would buy a lot of clothing items that were kind of expensive. Um, if you guys know the brand True Religion, I was literally a True Religion addict. I would freaking like, I had, I think at one point, like seven pairs of their jeans and it was like not a good idea. Um, very expensive and it didn't really make sense. Like I still have a few pairs I don't even wear. Um, I'll probably sell them off, but yeah, it just doesn't really make sense. Don't buy the true religion jeans. Um, and even just that, like the whole materialistic thing, like designer clothing, um, I am kind of into that, but again, <laughs> at a young age, you really don't need it. Um, and it's just like, why spend your money on that when you can spend your money on a lot of other things like investing your money, et cetera, et cetera, which again, we'll get into. Um, but yeah, I think that's like the number one tip. Don't buy stupid shit. Um, it's just not worth it. So. Number two is what I would say is if you are able to, I know when people are young, they don't really like the idea of, you know, reading, investing on themselves, all that type of stuff. But if you can read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, it is the number one book that I've ever read. And without that book, I would not be where I am today. That is the one book I will solely say is like the one, like that is the book. That is the book everyone needs to read. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad, it's literally, I think like 10 bucks or something like that. Grab it, read it. It's not too long. Even if you read it in like, three months or some shit like that. Just read the book. I promise you it will really be helpful for you. Um, and I know it's super cliche. If you have already read that book, I'd say amazing, great job. You now know a lot about finance after you're reading that book. So I'd say use your money and start investing in courses and mentors and even other books and stuff like that because it will be very helpful. Another finance tip for when you're young is get a jar. So for example, this is a jar I had since 2018. Obviously it's empty now because I don't use it anymore. But it's literally just like, like ragu sauce, if you guys know, like literally just like pasta sauce. But what I did is I cleaned it out and I put like, there's a cut open here. So what I can do, I have a $20 bill. So every time I'd make, you know, let's just say a set amount of money, um, I literally just, you know, scrunch up the dollar bill, just doing so right here. I literally just put it in here. Let me, if it will fit, come on, let's go fit. It's not gonna fit, okay, it's gonna fit. I literally just, boom, put it in here. It's there and I'd forget about it. So what I recommend doing is for whatever you want out of life. So for me, I think this jar was for, um, I forgot what it was for. I think I just had the jar cause I was pretty disciplined. Write down something that you're saving money up for. So it could be like a trip, it could be a car, it could be a laptop, it could be, um, I don't know, something. As long as it's something stupid, it can be for traveling, whatever. Write it down and have this jar somewhere in like your room. So you can even like put it on like a bookshelf if you want. Just put it somewhere and let's just say you have a side hustle of, um, I'll tell you exactly what I did. So for what I did, I had a side hustle of shoveling driveways in high school. And every time I shovel a driveway, I would literally just put all of the money into this jar. And I'd never look at it, I'd never use it. I just have it there as like an emergency fund if I needed it. Um, and that kind of leads to tip number three, which is, start a side hustle, okay? Um, if you don't have time to get a job, like me personally, I never had a job in high school. Um, I only had a nine to five job for like one month after I graduated, but start a side hustle, do something. So that could be um, shoveling driveways, that could be mowing lawns, that could be, um, you know, learning how to trade Forex, that can be like so many different side hustles that there are out there. Um, you just need to pick one and do it, okay? So start a side hustle. Um, again, if you don't want to start a business that's like, you know, an online business, cause that's kind of hard, I understand, but there are a lot of things you could do. Um, you can flip stuff off Kijiji, Facebook marketplace, just flipping things. There's so many side hustles you can do. And I strongly recommend having a side hustle will do a lot of things. Like one, you'll be able to make a lot of money. Um, you'll be able to save that money. And two, like 
you'll be able to really understand how like the real world the real world works because again if you're starting a side hustle where you're um, shoveling driveways and you're going door to door knocking like you're gonna learn a lot of skills you're gonna learn how to talk to people you're gonna learn you know how i guess business works in a sense and eventually you can get to a point where you can understand okay like this is how i can make money with side hustles and your mindset will just start to shift you'll think okay what can i do more now what else can i do with this right Another thing I would say is before um, hitting the age of 20, so after you hit 18, I'd say it's very important to make a TFSA or a RRSP, so um, a tax-free savings account or I think a registered retirement savings plan or some shit like that. I forgot what it's called, but one of the two, a TFSA or an RRSP. And what you want to do, or is it RESP? One of the two, I don't know, just Google it. A TFSA is what I have, and pretty much this allows me to start investing into stocks. So I bought my first stock when I was 18 years old. Um, I bought Tesla at I believe like 256 or something. I made a shit ton of money off Tesla stock, if you don't already know. But buy your first stock. I think it's very important. I think it's essential. And I think it's something that will really help you out just in the long run. If you pick a good stock and you just hold it, great. Like you're already going to be much better off financially than most adults. Like a lot of people, they don't even own stocks to begin with. I'd say look into stocks, um, especially if you're someone who is really like an entrepreneur or you're just kind of, you know, going into school, doing university, whatever. Stocks are a great way to park your money. And again, if you have a lot of cash set up, great, park your money. Um, another thing I'd say is when you're young and again, before the age of 20, you have a lot of room to experiment with, right? You most likely don't have bills. You most likely don't have things to save up for other than maybe like school or like I said, like a laptop or whatever you need. So be be very like open to taking risks okay so if you want to buy a course buy a course okay <clears throat> excuse me if you want to invest into like a stock just go ahead and do it right don't overthink things because even if you do lose money it's a lot better that you're losing money at a younger age and learning from these mistakes as opposed to doing it when you're older and then you don't have enough time to learn from your mistakes right so for example like man i've made so many mistakes i've wasted money on a lot of things like i said I've probably spent like thousands of dollars on like clothing and stuff that really doesn't do anything for me. And now I know, and I'm a lot happier that I made the mistake now, or sorry, previously as opposed to now, because now I have a decent amount of money and I can be blowing a lot more money if I didn't already make those mistakes and know that it's important not to blow my money like that. Right. Um, I hope that kind of makes sense. So like, obviously you'd want to make the hundred dollar mistakes earlier earlier on in your career as opposed to making them in the future when those hundred dollar mistakes will become a thousand dollar mistakes because you just have more money and you're open to spending more money right it's just all a mindset thing right um but that's pretty much like i said i'd say those are my like top tips um like i said if you want to learn more about like mindset and productivity and stuff like that um, i do have a course called the seeking success course um it is pretty much like all access to my mindset and productivity and as well as other people as well um if you want to learn more about that course link down below go check it out but other than that that is it for today. Those are my tips for teens. Um, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks and goodbye.